Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. And today we're going to start a brand new series for the channel and kind of a nice wind down game for 2020 after basically doing horror for nothing but two months. Let's play just another game, Pikmin 3 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I was really excited when I saw this was going to be re-released for the Nintendo Switch. I only played the first game a little bit. Never had any experience with the second or third games, but I was always really interested in giving this one a try. Alright, of course we have story mode. Collect food and save Kapai from danger. It's a story of the big adventure with Pikmin. Mission mode, which I believe is mostly collecting treasure. Take a challenge and aim for a medal. The more you play, the better you'll be at planning. Side stories, which is part of the deluxe version of this game. I believe this was originally DLC. Meanwhile, a certain duo is hard at work on an important mission, unlocked after a certain point in story mode. And then this seems really fun, but unfortunately, it needs a second player. Collect fruits and creatures in a bingo battle. Two players are needed. Well, for the time being, I'm all by myself. So it may be some time before I get to show that off, if I ever do. Alright, so let's start a new story. And we can choose our difficulty. I really wanted to start this with Ultra Spicy. Because, from what I understand, the normal game is actually considered to be pretty easy. Especially compared to the first and second games. Ultra Spicy um, gives you half the juice that you would normally collect, and you can only control 60 Pikmin. And that sounded really interesting to me, but unfortunately, it's only unlocked when you clear hard difficulty. So we can only choose between normal, a sweet and frothy difficulty suited for any fan of the series, but especially beginners, and hard. Advanced players might savor the sour tang of challenge on this difficulty. Now, believe it or not, hard difficulty is the original game's normal difficulty. So that's what we're going to start. This is actually supposed to be easy. This is supposed to be easy, normal, and this is hard, but whatever. Hard mode it is. Galactic Date 20XX At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, Final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF 404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. It it usually do be like that in the Pikmin universe. Welcome to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Exploration Day 1, 8.44 a.m. Charlie's Crash Site. Uh, what happened? Thank God I landed in the snow, otherwise I might have died. This two inches of snow saved my life from falling from orbit. 
Wh where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Sorry. Sorry. Ooh. Ooh, I'm Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? So far. There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? Hmm. Captain Charlie is a man's man. He'll take care of this. He'll get this shit done. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Alright, moving. Move with Alf. Time for tutorials. Hints. If you get stuck in story mode, press up to view a strategy hint. You can hide them by going to more and other options, uh, more and other settings, and setting hint display to off. Press plus to open options and view basic information, and go to other settings to change controls to your liking. Alright, left stick moves. Pretty simple. Also, I appear to be being watched. Huh? What in the... There, there are more of them. Run away! Well, this planet's mushrooms are huge. I'm not going to be able to get through this because I did not carry any weapons, which is exactly what you do when you're exploring an unknown, potentially hostile planet. Surrounded by strange yellow creatures. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? I'll do what any normal American will do. Get my gun! Or my whistle. I don't have a gun. I can sound it with B though. Shoo! Get away! I'm surrounded! Hey, I should throw them. Get away from me! They don't appear hostile. I probably shouldn't have tried to shoot them. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and throw them with A. Using the whistle. Press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over. Hold B longer to increase the whistle's range. Take aim with L and press A to throw. Maybe these fellows can be of some use. Might as well exploit them. They're not going to leave me alone. Uh, can you guys take care of this? Right, that's how it's done. Perfect, let's go. I should look around for my crew. It's R to change my surroundings, to check my surroundings. And pressing ZL will let me see what's in front of me. Alright, so R rotates the camera. And ZL centers it. Perfect. Can you guys do anything about that? You can, but it looks like it's going to take you forever! Doesn't look like you guys want to do anything about that over there. You come here. No, no, go back! Kill all mushrooms! All mushrooms must die. So, in case you haven't figured it out, this is an obvious tutorial. Just to get you learning how to control Pikmin. Also, these guys sure are dedicated. Also, the Pikmin games are always amazingly gorgeous. They are always absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Just look at this screenshot right here. Oh, this looks so good on the Switch. I'm sure it looked good on the Wii U too, but then I'd be playing Wii U. Those look dangerous. Throw the Pikmin at them! Let the Pikmin take the, the danger! Wow, that's bright! The light is chasing away those enemies. Perfect. I'd still like to kill them though, please.
Oh, that's probably not good. And I died. Exploration day one, 8.46 a.m. Alf's crash site. <laughs> so I just plummet like a missile. Oh, goodbye ship. That's, that's probably fine. We can just like d get those dings out. We can, we can buff that out. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Aw, I'm small and cute. And my name is Elf. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Elf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. So in the first game, uh, you were your ship crashed and you had 30 days to collect ship parts before you died. It was a hard game over. Here, there's no hard, there is kind of a soft game over, but it's a lot more forgiving. No, come back. You look useful. What was that? Well, obviously the first red Pikmin you find is going to be named Steve, and if you know that reference, you obviously watched Shaga Conroy. <laughs> and he hates that <laughs> reference. <laughs> it appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. <laughs> and what's that stuck in that branch? <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help? Is that red thing a fruit? It does look delicious. Maybe if I whistle at them... And just lock on the red fruit with ZR... And throw! Nice! Oh god, it's... it's a heart. Or it's... Certainly something. <laughs> I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it now that it, now that it's freed. Oh wait a minute! I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Looking around, face forward with ZL and look around with R. R won't work if the Joy-Con is held sideways. Fortunately, I'm using a using a Pro controller, so that's not a problem. Okay. Hey, they're following me. This is called an onion. I know it looks exactly like you think onions look, but that is the home for Pikmin. In this case, it's the home for red Pikmin. Okay, I need to... How can I shift? Oop, hits. If you don't see a way forward, look for pieces to make a bridge. Now, see the way forward. I wanted to... There we go. Okay, so pressing ZR again changes my lock on target. Go, little dudes! What are they doing? Ah, they're making a bridge for me! How handy! If, what's this pile of rubble? If only I could get... Oh, I can't get past it. Can I get you? I can! Hey! That's... Two more. Get to work. I oh, know that's just one more. I signaled one of the ones I already had. My cup pad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. As soon as I can get across. That might be a problem. The bridge is almost built. 
I don't see any more hidden little red Pikmin to help me out. So it looks like I'm stuck with four for the moment. Unless I can get more out of the onion. Were there any in the onion? Does not look like it. Otherwise, it would come up with a UI letting me pull them out. That's okay. They're done now. Good job, little guys. You're slow, but it's better than doing it myself. Because that's how bridges work. Yay! I got the cup pad, which obviously is muddled on the Wii U pad, which we will not be using. Great! It still works! Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Kapalite Kapai Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Kapad screen. Use L to check your surroundings. Where's the Drake? Aha! The SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Now we can start exploring with the help of the car pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Which, uh, I will not be doing. Using the camera. Activate the camera via the cut pad to snap a photo. Okay, sure. Uh, cause that looks, that looks cute. Oh, I was hoping that the Pikmin would join in, but never mind. Let's get some more of these little guys. I forget exactly what these are called, but these fruit, if they're taken back to the, uh, to the uh, onion, will spawn the color pigment and the number of pigment that's on the fruit. Actually, if you take them back to the red onion, they'll spawn double. You can take them back to any onion and they'll spawn one pigment. But if you if you take them back to the pigment of their color, you'll get more. The thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Now I have to pick them out. I get a tiny red pigment. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Plucking! Press A to pluck nearby pigment sprouts. Press B to cancel. Fortunately, once you start plucking, it automatically picks everything. You don't have to go one to the other to the other. Which is really good. I don't know if it's going to happen in this game, but in the second game, you can get a whistle upgrade. Oh, enemies! Fight my enemies! You can get a whistle upgrade that would allow you to pluck them yourself. Alright. When you defeat enemies, you can also take them back to the onion, and you will also get more pigment from them, I believe. Come here. So, it's usually a good idea to go ahead and start getting as many as possible. Especially today, when I don't think we're going to have a time limit. There you go. Alright. Oh, hey, don't shove it. So I can hold down ZR, and I can move the cursor manually, it's not just a lock-on. That's very handy. Let's see, if I go up here... That one is huge. It's gonna take some time to get down, but we might get a bunch of Pikmin out of this, which is gonna be really useful. Actually, these are called pellets, aren't they? It's going to take five to move, so I need to go get mine. I need to hurry up and come back and get you guys. Come here. There's going to be a lot of multitasking in this game. The better you are at multitasking, the more successful you're going to be. And even though it just says 
five to move, the more Pikmin you throw at it, obviously the faster it'll go. So while they're moving that over here, I'll go ahead and collect these Pikmin, get myself some even bigger army. You guys carry that over there. I'm going to take all the Pikmin I have and throw them at that box, which is going to take 20 Pikmin to move. So it's a good thing that we're going to have all the Pikmin we could possibly need. In fact, in the field, I've got 21. Okay, so there's 14 with me. It should be... Okay, there, there were seven. Yay! Of course, the box has a big 20 on it. We can finally get through here and we get a memory card. What's that? It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cup pad will be able to read it. Pigmentology number one. The onion is like a nest for the pigment. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent. The cup pad can read the data file. So this creature called Pikmin? This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop hat's exploration notes. And a new app installed. Somehow. Waves hand. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Are you saying that the pigment aren't intelligent? That's very rude. So every color Pikmin, this isn't going to come into play for a little while, but every color Pikmin has their own strengths. Red Pikmin are fireproof. According to the radar, the Drake should be through here. So anytime you see fire hazards, you're going to want to use red Pikmin to get through them. Wow, those are massive, but they don't look edible. So do we really care? I wasn't... I don't think I was getting anything out of them. As far as things for the Pikmin to carry. Yeah, no. They're not, they're not getting any, any pellets or anything. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Now would be a good time to press X to perform a charge attack. Charge! Beat the crap out of it with your little leaves. As I stand here and watch and do nothing. Of course, while I'm doing the charge attack, I apparently can't move. My crew can learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. I hope the Drake is okay. Oh no, my army! There it is! The SS Drake! It looks like crap. The cop pad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission! Who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? 
The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Boop. And away. And the onion comes with us. Any pigment that aren't in their onion at the end of the day are lost. They're going to get eaten. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kapai were destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days worth of edible provisions left. This is your time limit. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Day one! Yay! Using the Radar 3, review the replay with... something to fine-tune your strategy. That button. Okay, there. So, we didn't lose any Pikmin. We get we uh, didn't get any fruit either. Overall, not a real eventful day. Just mostly a tutorial. Starting tomorrow, it's going to get a lot more interesting because if we don't get fruit... In two days, it will be a game over. So, hopefully we'll be able to find something edible and I guess find our crew members as well. But for now, we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you so much for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.